All right, all right, all right. Let's see how we're gonna go here. We are starting a new game. We want to make sure that we are doing what we need to do. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to try to get some fish traps and a furnace going. I played this for eight hours yesterday and got super far, but right now I'm just trying to make sure that I am uh, getting where we need to go. Um, just going to be like a little bit of a let's play thing. I'm just only going to play this one while I'm recording, kind of see how things go, kind of see what happens and all that. So we are going to take this one for a ride, y'all. It should be fun. It should be interesting. And it should be something, to say the least. We're going to see just how uh, maybe not efficient I can be, but like I'm going to try to take some of the things I've learned from playing and put it into something else here to see if we can um, make it a little more uh, not interesting or challenging just a little more right so one of the things we're doing here when you chop down trees you have a chance to get the citrus fruit when you pick the berries as you can see i used my first couple berries there to make a fish trap because i want to start getting fish as soon as possible because i want to be able to have a passive way to be making the um energy come my way so let's see do we have enough to start building any of the let's see we can make a furnace all right so let's go ahead and make a furnace we're going to put it there and now I'm going to kind of keep just kind of poking around here to see what I can do. Um, I don't want to use all of my resources there because I want to be able to make another, um, another fish trap if I can get some, um, if I can get some more berries. So I need to start working on making iron ingots and bricks there. So one of the things you can do early in the game, if you need to, is you get exhausted, right? And you're going to have to either wait for more things to spawn or you are going to do what I'm going to do here unless that's a fish. All right, that's a fish. So let's go ahead and add that to the toolbar. Um, so something you can do is let your energy run all the way out and then it will give you half a bar of energy for a full part. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and start the iron because we need four. We are going to go ahead and we're going to get the gathering, forging skill first. Cotton spawns more often, allows you to find wheat and allows you to find beets. So, the reason being, we're going to get um, gathering and then fishing is going to pop up. What fishing is going to do is allow us to make um it is going to allow us to make fishing poles but it's also going to make it where our fishing traps catch things 50 percent faster which doesn't sound like a lot until you get to the whole um well now we are going to be needing food all the time because our energy is running out constantly which is what just happens all the time right so that is what we're looking for here and then we're going to be trying to go 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 as fast as we can so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and let that run out um and i'm going to see if i can make another fish trap i cannot so i need more berries so instead of 
using my berries that I have. Huh? I don't have to worry about it yet because there we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make another fish trap real quick. Boop. There we go. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Let's see how many berries do I have? I have five. Is five enough for a third fish trap? I don't think so. Oh, it is. Okay, so I got three fish traps. All right, let's keep going. Let's get more fish traps, y'all. All right, Um. so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a forge so I can continue making things. And when you look at the forge, you can make a shovel, which I need to make one of these as soon as I can because having a shovel is gonna help me get some more resources. Let's see, there we go, we got another fish. So I'm going to let my energy pop this time. And for the reason I told you why, watch what happens when I lose a heart. See, now I get almost a half a bar of energy just for letting my heart pop there. So let that happen. I'm going to continue using resources to continue making items to we're going to get rolling here. That is the plan. So we are going to go up here. We're going to make some coal. Um, and I want to make sure that I just keep my forge rolling. I want to make sure that if I can craft something, I am crafting something. Um, but I want to make sure that I have enough resources that if something comes up that I need to make, I can make it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and probably... Um, let's see, what do, I need to, what do I need to plan here? Let's see. I need a sewing station, so I need some bricks, and I need some more fiber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some more bricks real quick. So we are going to not hit by land. We are going to build four more bricks because I know I have fiber growing right there. So I am going to let that fiber grow. I'm going to grab that fish. I'm going to go ahead and eat what I've picked up had a beet spawn all right do i have enough to make another fish trap do not i need one more to make another fish trap so all right so seaweed you can eat but you use it as a material later so you can hold on to it or you can eat it but it only gives five energy so it's not the most um useful and efficient thing so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna hit skills here <clears throat> and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit gathering Gain four more inventory slots, and you get 25% more XP from plants and crops. So, I'm going to grab that. Now you see we pick up fishing here. Unlocks fishing rods, fishing traps, catch things 50% faster. So, um, fishing doesn't use much energy at all. So, when you get to that, it's fine. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make a sewing station. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a farming skill here to build a bridge behind here so I can make my sewing station and, uh, well, nope, not yet because I need to get two more wood because I did my math wrong. So let's go ahead and do this. So there we go. There's two more wood. Now we're going to take our industrial thing here. We're going to build a sewing station. And I'm going to try very, very hard to make sure as I am expanding and building things and working on getting my areas going and my resources going that I keep everything together and I make a nice little base. Um, something to keep in mind that I forgot on my other playthrough and by forgot, I mean, I didn't really notice until way too late is you can build on the okay, so I need iron and wood so you can build on the wood you see how I put that back there on the wood and that is going to come in super duper handy you are going to be able to do that and it is going to help you out so much and basically increase your area where you can place things and make it a lot easier so when you get an, a fairy it gives you xp and refills everything all the way so just use them 
when you get them because they are going to be super helpful. So, <clears throat> keep doing this. Grab our fish. And we're just going to go, 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 go. And just keep grinding. Just keep grinding. Just keep grinding, grinding, grinding. What do we do? We grind. So, something else as well. Once we get fishing, I'm pretty sure that is what unlocks the ability to be able to cook the fish so i'm going to be doing that as soon as i can as well because being able to cook the fish increases the amount of hp they give you and it also makes it where you can um regain a heart whenever you do it so you will be getting a lot of benefit from um getting cooked fish early as you can because you're going to be getting a lot of benefits from cooking it it's going to give you more energy back when you use it it's gonna it's just a better thing altogether um so once we can make bottles which we well we can now um so glass and thread those are things we're going to be working on making when we can we're going to try to upgrade our backpack as soon as we can and we're going to try to get a new wallet as soon as we can as well. Right now, I'm just trying to get the resources that I need to build a shovel. Because a shovel is going to come in super handy as soon as I can get it going. Because in these spots where... Um, so that's a dig spot. So that's going to give me resources. Um, there's going to be a couple of different reasons we need that. But in the long run... It is going to be good. So what do I need for the shovel? I need 20 iron and 60 wood. So I need to just keep pumping out iron and keep chopping down trees. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. All right, so we hit level four. So like I was saying, when you hit level four, go up here and use your third skill point and get fishing. Unlocks fishing rods, fishing traps, catch things 50% faster. Just being able to catch things 50% faster is like super good, right? So now when you go up here, I think I already had the recipe for cooked fish. I'm not sure why I thought you had to have fishing to get the recipe, but now we get to cook faster, which is going to be amazing. So that is what we're gonna be doing. And by cook faster, I mean, we are going to be catching fish faster. As you can tell, it's already, um, evident because it hasn't been that long since we grabbed one of our fish out of there so ideally i want to have most of my island with fishing traps and that's why because a lot of times you are not able to um let's see if we can get that, make a fishing rod there um a lot of the times you know all of these little areas that you're not using those little spots like that those little corner spots and like if you're not actively using that area as a bridge, you should probably just build a fishing spot there because having more fish traps means more food. Having more food means more energy. More energy means more progress. More progress means more better, right? So that's what we're going to keep doing. We're going to keep trying to work towards getting the shovel, which is the goal right now. We want to try to get all of our tools. Um, and then we're going to start crafting um gold bars so we can start turning the gold bars into gold coins and then the gold coins are going to be giving us the ability to buy the next items that we need um so i need more coal so let's go ahead and craft more coal all right so now we're waiting so we will bonk that Got almost a full bar of energy here. So as things spawn, we're just gonna grab them. Um, no reason not to, no reason not to take advantage of everything we can do here. Wheat will come in handy later when we're done farming things and when we're trying to cook more. Um, as of right now, it's not the best thing, but you know, it is doing what it's doing. It's, it's nice and fun and 
doing the things. All right, so matter of fact, I don't think you can eat wheat. No, you can't. Um, milled down, you can make it into flour and then use flour to cook, obviously. Um, so let's keep making iron ingots because we need them for our shovel. And once we start getting our shovel going, we're gonna be using more energy. So as we're getting more fish traps and stuff, we need to make sure we're doing that. Um, so the thing with digging is you're not guaranteed things until later on once you are getting your upgraded shovels because like upgraded shovels are going to be like yeah now you get this thing now you get that thing now you get the other thing and it is super nice but for the most part you are not going to be doing much with that in the beginning other than letting it roll and just hitting one spot at a time and it took me too long to figure it out but you can as you're doing it um you can like stand in one spot and dig in a lot of different spots i was not doing that properly when i first started using it and it was i was wasting a lot of energy because like i'd swing it and i'd miss and i'd swing it and i'd miss and i'd swing it and i'd miss all right, so I'm going to show you guys the difference here. When you look at your fish, 10 energy. So when you cook your fish, it costs some coal. But when you cook your fish, now they give you two energy and a heart. So what I'm going to do with this is be a little cheeky and I'll show you. I'm going to use it like this. So I'm going to let it hurt me. Well, as soon as it lets me do it. So I'm gonna let some things spawn real quick. All right, so what I'm gonna do next, so I'm going to grab magic first. So we're gonna grab magic. Just to gain 25% more XP, right? And then I'm going to grab cauldrons. And then there's going to be a few more things we're going to do that way. I'm going to try to unlock some of the things you can build with magic to help me along later. Um, and I'm going to go the magic route to get to the thing that gives you the vaults. So that you can get more storage space without actually having to um do as much with going up and around through economy because yeah going through economy is nice and everything but like early on in the early game like having the banks doesn't really help you out all that much so like we're trying to take advantage of what we can do now all right so i need one more iron ingot after those three before I can start trying to craft my shovel, which is super exciting. Got some fiber going, making some thread here. We're getting some materials going. So here's the cheeky thing. I hope it's gonna let me do it this time because I'm not leveling up or anything. So I am going to go ahead and cook my fishes only have two so it's not going to use a lot of my resources so as soon as this happens i'm going to show you how i'm going to maximize the amount of energy i'm going to get from each of these fishes because what i'm going to do is i'm going to let it hurt me to refill my bar and then after it hurts me and refills my bar i am going to use the fish to give me see like that right there right so it hurt me and refilled my bar so now when I use the fish, I get 20 more and that heart back. So I'm just getting more back as I can. Um, all right, let's see. Can we make another fish trap? We can. All right, so let's go ahead and put one over here. All right, so we are making the progress here. We are making the progress, making the progress. All right, so I need more iron ore. So that's what I'm waiting on to be able to build that. <coughs> So what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to start 
the gold going because then I can start making coins and it is going to let us start buying more land. And once we get more land, we're gonna start getting more resources. Once we start getting more resources, we're gonna be able to do the things more. Once we're doing the things more, we're, we're just doing the things, right? We are making the progress and doing the things and it is going to be lovely. Oh look, we got some more coal over here. All right, cool. So when you see coal rocks, get excited because coal is one of the bottlenecks early on. Um, I'm hoping we can get automation at a early enough setup because why wouldn't we want it? All right, so I'm making six. So if you see how it goes here, each one makes more than one, all right? So that made eight. So we made one and it gave us eight. Made two, it gave us eight more, all right? So you're not stuck behind one gold bar makes one coin because that would be miserable we don't want to do that we want to make sure that we are making all right so now i have 40 so let's see i can buy that one for 30 so let us go ahead and buy that one for 30 all right so that's not a bad one that's going to give us an obelisk so foraging obelisk gain xp from gathering herbs and crops only one obelisk can be active at a time. All right, so now we have enemies we got to deal with, which is fine because slime is going to be a good resource for us. Um, I'm going to keep using my energy how I have been, and I'm going to let it go down, and then I'm going to cook fishes, and then I'm going to let it go back up with the fishes because in the meantime, we are just trying to make sure that we are having enough of everything to do everything that we need all right so i'm gonna try to make sure i keep my energy up i'm gonna try to make sure that i keep my resources up just trying to make sure so i'm gonna let it bonk me and then i'm gonna eat a cooked fish and then i'm going to keep going here so we can get the iron that we need here because we're still trying to make a shovel right we still don't have our shovel so that is what we're looking for here so let us grab these, let us make our iron. And then what do we need for the shovel? We need one more wood and one more iron. So we are going to be able to make it as soon as we grab that. Now let's go ahead and have it craft our shovel. Now let's spend our point. All right. So I'm gonna go this way. So I'm gonna grab cauldrons so unlocks cauldrons bang so now you can see we can grab the vaults here right and then you can also see we can grab inscriptions so we're going to grab inscription tables next after we grab the vaults so our next two levels are going to be vaults and inscription tables because inscription tables are going to let us make some other things vaults are going to give us more inventory space which is just required so we want to make sure we're doing that all we can I'm going to keep cooking all of my fish as much as I can and keep that going. And it is going to be great, great, great um, in the meantime, because we are trying to get our energy stores go, go, going. And it is going to be really good to have that up and rolling. So it's something too to keep in mind, once you get your vaults going, your resources that go in the vaults, will so if you put like say you put your berries in the vault well now every time you pick up a, ver a berry as long as you have a berry in the vault that is where it will go it will go to the vault um so early game you want to just grab the berries every time you see them because the fairies are going to be giving you xp every time you grab them and filling up your hearts so i mean it's it's some quick easy xp you can pick up and so as you get more islands and stuff, the enemies that can spawn um, changes. And like, so early on, you just have the slimes. So getting the slimes is super easy. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, it's not a problem at all to get the slimes going. So make sure you see them squat. They get ready to jump, move out of their way. After they jump, there you go, just move right um 
So we almost have our shovel and then we are going to be able to use it. So as of right now, I'm crafting fishes more often than I am eating them. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take this other foods off of my bar. So right now I have beets and oranges. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And the reason being so I can toggle quickly between what I'm doing. So whenever you hit it, whenever you see a dig spot, you wanna see that and you wanna grab it, right? But otherwise you can still dig, but being able to get anything from it is a crapshoot, right? Like you may, you may not. Like you see, I got a couple things of sand. You don't like, you're not guaranteed to get items and it does use energy to dig. So make sure if you are digging, you are being cognizant that it is taking your energy. It is taking your time. It is something that is costing you resources. So make sure you're paying attention to that. Otherwise keep on digging, right? All right. So I got six berries. Is that enough to build a fish trap? Nope. I need nine berries to build a fish trap. All right, so got another fish, got another that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the raw fish off of here too. And I am just going to keep farming materials. I'm going to get my um, things rolling for me in just a moment. I'm gonna make sure that I have all of my, you wanna try to have all of your tools going at all times right because if you don't have your tools going oh look i got i got some uh some bones there all right so if you don't have your tools going why are you using them right like keep your tools rolling all right so right now i only have two fish so what i'm going to do is i am going to do that and then i'm going to next time make some more coal so whoop See, there we go. So we took our damage, we got it back, and now we are gonna go back to setting up more fish traps. Now we have enough to put another fish trap down. So we're gonna do that. All right, so I need three more berries for another fish trap. So we're just gonna keep on keeping on. We are going to keep on going. All right, so I leveled up again. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pick up, um, let's do inscription first and then the vault. All right, so potions and scrolls cost a few resources to craft. All right, so first thing I wanna do is get the slime so he doesn't bonk me while I'm doing other stuff. All right, so let's see, what do we need to build an inscription table? We need bricks. And over here we need iron and bricks. So I need to start working towards getting 20 bricks. All right, so right now I need coal. So I need 20 coal. I can't craft 20 coal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna craft as many as I can and I'm going to just keep going. And I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep going until there is no more go left. Um, right now I'm gonna use my energy on bonking stuff down and if there are dig spots I'm gonna grab the dig spots otherwise I'm just going to keep it as it is um, let's see how many coins can I make I have that craft some coins for me all right so we want to so right now our fish supply is going up faster than our energy is going down so I'm not gonna um, worry about getting any of the um any of the next couple fishing things yet i'm not gonna make any more fish traps yet because right now i'm just trying to preserve some of my materials right because i need more trees um because we need bricks to be able to build the next thing, right? So what I'm doing is trying to hold on to as much as I can. Um, so after my heart pops here, I will go ahead and 
do the thing again and have it all right so how many coal do i have six and i need 14 so let's go ahead and make five more so i'm just going to keep all the berries that i get for now until i am able to get what i need okay so my heart took a hit we're gonna fill it back up we're just going to keep looking for dig spots and trees, dig spots and trees. We're just going to get all the resources we can because we need to be paying attention and getting all the resources that we can. And then once I get everything going, I'm going to destroy my buildings and move them around and have my little area set up in a specific way. And it's going to be all nice and fancy because I was just throwing things down all willy nilly on my other file and eight hours later it starts to look like a whole mess so we're not going to be doing that we're going to be actively trying to make sure that we are doing what we need to be doing all right so we're going to craft three more coal so we can be getting what we need to get here because i need bricks i need bricks i need bricks i need bricks so i can probably afford no, I can't because I don't have the wood. Never mind. I was going to say I can make another furnace, but right now I'm not getting resources fast enough to need another furnace, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to keep, like I said, looking for dig spots. Whenever there's a dig spot, I'm going to grab it. Otherwise, we're just running around. And if you didn't notice, the dig spot just looks like a little brown spot on the ground. Um, and we're just going to keep that going. Ooh coal yes we love when we get coal because this is basically free resources right here so we're gonna go over here um that says i don't own any bricks why does that say i don't own any bricks oh because i don't i need 20 ha all right so i need one more coal but i don't have enough trees to make that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make some bricks real quick all right so and then there's another little coal node so we're going to grab the coal node. We're going to let that make our bricks for us. Back over here, grab the tree. There's a dig spot. You see it spawned right there. A little, that little area, that's a dig spot. So bonk. As you can see, they always have something in those little dig spots. Um, while you only have the one obelisk, just use it. Right? Just use it all the time. Um, because having that is always going to be a good thing. All right, so... There we go. My inventory is full. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So my inventory is full, which is not a bad problem to have. But what we're going to do is we are going to leave everything in here for now. Um, and I'm going to see what I can build. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to see what I need. Nope, that's not it either. All right, uh, build magical inscription table so i need wood and bricks and then this needs flour iron and bricks so i don't know which of these is going to be more useful so i'm probably going to build the inscription table first um and it is going to be lovely 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 so what's going to happen is after i get 20 bricks on the ground i will throw my uncooked fish in there and free up the inventory spot that way and that is going to make it where I can start um, doing what I need to do for that. Um, oh, look, level eight. All right, so let's go ahead and throw our uncooked fish in there. Well, no, oh, we're just going to throw our coal in there because it's going to serve the same purpose, right? Um, but I need to make one more, one more coal first because I need... Uh, not coal, one more brick, because I need the brick to make the other things. Um, Alright, so here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go to skills. I'm going to grab storage, because we need vaults. So now we have storage for vaults. And then we are going to start making vaults. So what do we need to make vaults? All right. So to make a vault, we need steel and bricks. So got some bricks. In order to make steel, I need something else here. What do I need? I don't remember. Okay, 
Hold on. I made a mistake somewhere. Let's see. All right. Um, one of these lets us smelt industry steel. Okay. So we need to get industry next so we can make the steel bars we need. So what we're doing right now is we're just going to keep on trying to make sure that we are making the things that we can make and using the things that we can use. So I need wooden bricks for that. That needs iron bricks. Okay, so wooden bricks. So I still need more wood. So that's what we're doing. We're just gonna look for wood. There we go. All right, so we got our wood. We're just gonna keep on bonking slimes. We're going to keep on doing everything we need to do so we can get the wood for um oh, there we go. We got another tree. so we're just going to keep on doing what we need to do to get smelting so we can make steel and then once we get steel we will start being able to make our um let's see how many gold ingots can I make? I can make three. Alright. So that's what I'm going to do now. Alright. Alright. So we're just gathering our fish traps. Going to keep doing that. Going to keep doing this with our fiber. Alright. Let's go put our fiber on the thing here. There we go. I'm hungry. Oh no. Not hungry. Why would you ever? Alright. So energy is low. We're just gonna keep going, just keep going, just keep going. There we go. All right, let's eat a fishy boy. Get our stuff up here. And then we are going to be doing the stuff, right? All right, um, so we're just gonna keep getting what we can get. We're just gonna keep bonking slimes. We're gonna keep waiting on stuff to spawn. Anything we can do to get XP while we wait, right? So running around, looking, making sure anything. There we go, there's some gold. We'll go ahead and grab that. Boop, all right. Do we have materials? Nope, so I don't have any coal right now. So I don't wanna use my wood for coal at the moment because I need 20 wood to be able to get the building that I need. So that is the first goal. Um, and we're just gonna keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Um, I don't really wanna get rid of any of these things. Maybe the bones, cause I don't need them yet, but like the amethysts are gonna come in handy later. Um, I don't know, that's fine. We'll figure it out. Um, Inventory is full. Yes, I know your inventory is full. Um, well, let's solve the full inventory problem. There we go. Four more inventory slots incoming right now. All right. Um, so we're just going to continue to gather, gather, gather. Grind, grind, grind. Wait, 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 because this is just a whole mess and we're doing the whole thing and it is great. All right, um, each thing we do here is just a whole lot of let's go, let's go, let's go, and hurry up and wait, which is hilarious, but we will get there eventually. All right, caught 50 fish. Now I can dress up like a fishy boy if I want to. That is hilarious, <laughs> but we'll do that later. Um, can't do that right now anyway, because you got to unlock a specific dude's house first. All right, let's see, how much money do I need to get the next land? So 50. So let's do this. Let's coin, make three and get the next land. Because then we're gonna have three spots that are gonna be able to spawn for us and do what we need them to do. And hopefully give us some trees. Um, that's the biggest thing right now is I need trees. I need wood. I need wood. I need wood. I need wood. And that is going to get us wood, I hope. All right. So let's see. If 
my land. All right, so let's go ahead and just buy this. And it's just a treasure chest island. All right, so one of the cool things about that, and we're not even going to worry about it yet, but one of the cool things about that is not only is that going to give us one thing we need. All right, so I am going to use two, two of my pieces of wood to craft this so I can go ahead and get a... Um, gold bar and make a key so I can go ahead and open that up in a minute. Um, so what I'm going to do with that over there is as I get enough wood, I am going to start to um, build bridges around that so I can put um, machines over there. Um, and as I'm doing that, it is going to make it so much easier because we are going to have the machines going over there that are going to be, you know, just all of this, which is going to be awesome. All right. So let's see. Can I make my magic? Yep. All right. So I'm going to make my inscription table um, and I'm going to make it right there. All right. So let's see what I can make on the inscription table, shall we? So I can make paper. Okay, well, first thing I need to do is make a bridge over to there. So let's not buy land, let's build farming bridge. So I need to be able to put three down, but I only have room for two. So let's grab this. All right, so there we go. Now I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna have, uh, what do I need for a key? I need two gold bars and four iron ingots. So, so I need one more one more of that so let's go ahead and no not buy build farming bridge oh can't build a bridge yet okay so you cannot from the pigs get anything from pressing the action key on them but if you press the action key on chickens you get an egg and there's a small chance that you will get a golden egg and if you get a golden egg keep it because you get a quest later for a golden egg and if you have it you are going to be a lot happier with yourself um okay so i have five of these now so we're gonna make four of those um and then i think i made some paper oh wow apparently i can do that more often than i thought all right so let's do this all right, so let's check our fish traps. Yeah, as you can see, after you get like three areas, you are like, you're starting to roll through your materials. You're starting to like have to run around a lot. Like you're at the point where you need to start doing other things. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick up industry so we can start making steel because I need it to be able to um, make some other things here. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna start working on that. I'm gonna start making um, what I need to make to be able to um, go ahead and show you guys what we're doing as far as being able to get um, everything rolling now smelting steel is kind of expensive because you got to have all of each of those you got to have two iron two gold like it's a lot right so we're going to have to start really paying attention to our resources we're going to start really like trying to do that if we want that extra storage space so that is the first goal um, and being able to um, cut down some trees and get our um, area over here builded, builded, built up so we can have more industry stuff over there. We're trying to use bridge areas as where we have our, um, as where we have our um, machines and our resources getting processed all right so vampire wings 30 percent chance to recover health when killing enemies so that's not a bad one to have by any means but it's not like the best one to get early so it is what it is right i'm not too concerned about that um i will take it it is definitely a welcome thing um 
now I'm about to be exhausted here. Go ahead and let me take the damage so I can eat a fish. There we go. So I'm still just using my um, still just using my health as a resource too because it's going to help me out in the long run. Um, so there are a lot of things going on over here that we want to work on. There's just a lot in general going on. And the way we're going to be doing this now is I don't know if we're going to be able to keep up with how much is going on. So I am going to hopefully get some more fish traps going and get some other things going and just use the next couple of minutes to stack up on resources and maybe um, do some other things here. So let's see how many fish traps I can make before I actually do that. I don't want to womp the cow yet. I don't think, actually I do think I want to womp the cow because I think that cow is just going to give me meat and hides that I can turn into leather. All right, so that's what we're trying to do there. So we're going to let this roll out. So the thing is to like the more time you're doing things that aren't actively like using your energy, the more time things have to spawn, which is not a bad thing. It's just like something to be aware of. So let's see, can we make some fish traps? All right, so I should be able to make two fish traps. So let's put two down. Okay, so I hit level 10. There we go. All right, so did that. All right, so now, cook fish. How many coal do we have? We have several, so let's cook some fish. And let's keep farming mats, because we need them all. Whoop. We need them all, we need them all, we need them all. All right, so. Oh, yeah, so as you can see, even with just three islands it is starting to get crazy it's starting to roll fast it's starting to get to where we're going to need to start upgrading things to be able to keep up with it right so that's what we're about to be doing apparently i have a skill point to spend and then we'll do that in a moment um i'm going to grab that fairy after um my heart does the thing so I can get full use out of it um, so it gives me a heart and some energy so go ahead and do that <laughs> that rock spawned right on top of me that's hilarious all right so there we go it did the thing so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that all right yeah, we are starting to really, really ramp up our production here. As you can see now, we got these guys starting to spawn. And these guys like to not only attack you, but they will break your buildings. And we don't like that. We don't want them breaking our buildings. So we are trying to make sure that they're not doing that. Um, one of the things here, too, is we want to make sure that we are doing everything we can do to um get everything going make sure we are getting like we want to make sure our resources are continually rolling so water shovel we need nightshade so those aren't exactly the easiest thing to get so we're not going to stress that too much yet um right now i think the goal is to get some more um furnaces built and some more um, things on the ground, right? I think we need some more processing power. I think we need some more things rolling, helping us out here. All right, so let's see. What do we want to pick for our skills? Let's have a look. So if we go to cooking, unlocks cook pots, unlocks sugar, unlocks mayo, unlocks cheese. Oh, well. Mining, rocks drop 40% more minerals, that would be useful. Farming, unlocks windmills, unlocks sprinklers, that would be useful. Banking, I mean, that could be useful, unlocks banks. That just makes it where we can passively um, 
create money, but we don't need that yet. Um, unlocks expert levels, scrolls and potions. That's probably going to help us out a little bit. So let's go ahead and grab thermaturgy. Maybe no. Actually, let's let's wait. I actually don't think I want to. Um, I think I'm going to pick up sewing for now, so I can start making leather. Um, now the animals are spawning, I think that's the plan. And then we'll be able to unlock gear. And then, yeah, I think that's where we need to be. So let us, uh, well, me trying to, oh, 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 no, oh, you get away from my buildings. You get out of here, bro. All right, you going somewhere. All right, so trying to get that gold right there is being a pain. So let me, uh, there we go. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Let me see. You do not have an egg for me. Inventory is full, so I can't get this coal. All right. So what I need to do is, what do I need to do? Um, so we need coal. That's the problem. Okay. So let's. Start this. Let's see what we want this to make. Uh, let's see. Sage scroll. Boost efficiency by structure spawns natural resources. Grants instant boost of experience. So sage scroll. Uh, green pigment. See. See. There we go. All right. So. Um, so making the green pigment is gonna be a little difficult. So moldy book. XP gained by 15%. Okay, so this is what we're gonna try to make first. So let's make five paper. Oh, we can't make five paper yet. Okay, so let's make three paper. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna try to craft the moldy book so we can get our XP boost going there, which I think is probably reasonable. Um, and I think the plan is to continue to do what we're doing here and oh, keep looking for dig spots, keep looking for anything we can that's going to be helpful, which right now is all the resources. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm about to level up again. I don't know where I want to put my next point, though. It's kind of a problem. So we're going to think about that a little bit. I don't think I'm going to spend my point yet. Um, I'm coming up on an hour, and I think probably an hour chunk at a time is a good um, spot to leave these videos. So once we get an hour, we'll see about it, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, in the meantime, I am just going to keep on bonking these things and farming materials and looking forward to making some more stuff. So this is going excellently so far. Um, so let's make some more thread. Max, let's go. All right. So this little island, I don't know why this little island is spawning resources so quickly, but it is doing incredible. So I am not sad about that at all. Um, let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. All right. Awesome. 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 So I'm going to start setting up my resources in the manner that I want them soon so that's going to be fun um, I will actually go ahead and start building bridges now I think um, after I grab all of my catches that are current and talk to that guy oh, look. oh man I'm going to have to mm, I don't know I really need to figure out what I can afford to get rid of here. I think, I think that what I'm gonna do, eat that meat for starters so I can pick up the coal. That's probably a good start. 
And then I can use the coal to start making the bars. Because I need the bars for the other things. And then I can make two paper. Because I need five paper. Because I'm trying to make a moldy book. Right, so... Oh, that's something else I can do. Let's add these to the toolbar and let's just munch them down. Let's use them for energy so we can, because I don't need, like, I can leave the beets on the ground. I don't really need to worry about the beets, so I'm just going to use them as much as I can real quick. Because right now I'm just trying to make a... Um, a vault. Um, and what I'm going to do with the vault is start keeping my um, materials in there that I'm using a lot, right? That's the whole plan of the vault. So we're going to keep that going. So let us do that. Let's see, is there anything I can craft on this right now? Let's see, uh, fishing rod, slime pickaxe. What do I need for that? Oh, I need bottled torch bugs. So I need bottles. So I need glass. That is what I currently need. Let's make some glass. All right, because I need bottled torch bugs and then I can upgrade my pickaxe, which is gonna be huge. Um, yeah, I didn't even think about doing that, uh, especially since, you know, I have a couple of spots where torch bugs spawn, so, like, I can get them now. Um, oh, nope, I didn't want to hit you with the axe. I'm sorry, Mr. Mister Chicken. Did not mean to hit you with the axe, but that was not my intention at all. Alright, so, let's see. Now we can make we can't make bottles yet, so we need... Alright, so I need to pick that up, so... <sighs> Discard. Alright, so now I can make bottles. Alright, two, so I need to make more glass. Did not mean to eat that. Well, all right, still got about a minute left on my buff there. All right, we are rolling, rolling, rolling. We are doing all the things, y'all. All of them, all of them, all of them. All right, so part of what I want to get done here in the next little bit. Nope. No, sir. Get out of here. So I am trying to make that moldy book, right? So let's see, what do I need for the moldy book? For the moldy book, I need five paper. So what I need to do is I need to drop something on the ground. Um, so what do I want to get rid of right now? I, I, I don't need gems yet. I don't need these yet. So that's probably safe. Now let's use that. And then, all right, moldy book. All right, so let's make some more bottles. So I need five total, so I need more glass. All right, um, oh, well, first I need more coal. So let's make some more coal so I can make some more glass, so I can get some more bottles, so I can get some more bugs, so I can upgrade my pickaxe, so I can do more damage. Uh, all the things, grinding, grinding. Grinding. Goobble gobble. Goobble gobble. Alright, so I wish there were a way to know when it was okay to... Oh, I just heard it poop. That makes me sad. Makes me sad in the best way possible, though. It's fine. Um, alright, so... Alright, so there we go. There's that. So let us make some more class. Three... Oh, okay. I need one more coal. So, one more coal. Ugh. 
there is a perk later that makes it where you get coal every time you break a rock and it solves this problem so i might try to get that quickly because i'm about to be needing all of the coal actually let us do that so let's head down that way it is over here so what i'm going to grab next is i'm going to grab mining rocks drop 40 percent more minerals now so here's one you can eat minerals and gems but geology all rocks drop coal that's what we're looking for is all rocks drop coal um so that is gonna be probably the best bet um and we can go ahead and rush to that so i can start getting my coal on yes and then let's make sure every time we walk past the chickens we're pushing e on them There we go. There's that. All right. So let's make more glass. Nice. Four more glass. All right. So moldy book. XP increased by 15%. All right. So can I make another moldy book? I cannot. So make all kinds of dyes though. That's kind of cool. All right. So a slimy tome, paper, glass, jelly. Oh. So now okay i see you game i see you all right all right so inventory is full again so what do i need to do to get rid of the full inventory um oh that's easy i can just throw some things in the furnace to start cooking there we go all right so now we got that now let's make some bottles um all of this so i will be able to do more stuff later all right so here's what we're gonna do i am going to call this episode one here um i will pick up on the next one soon i will go ahead and spend my point here for you to show you where i'm getting I'm going to go ahead and grab geology because all rocks drop coal is going to help us out a ton. And then we are going to potions and scrolls cost your resource. Okay. I don't know where I'm going from there. Maybe prospecting because rocks have a chance to drop more gems, increases the chance of finding things while digging. All right. So this is where we're at so far. We have gotten a handful of levels. We are rolling. We are doing well. And I think this is a good spot to call it. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you guys in a bit.